you know that it came from Stuttgart somewhere. Um, but what I want you to do is to map where this data was actually collected and map where your case study is and see if there's any significant differences that you can tell between them. So back here, remember, we looked at the latitude and longitude in the uh, comma separated value file, the text file. And we can actually navigate that to that here by pacing along and find 48.68 and 9.22 as the latitude and longitude. I've also made this a little bit easier by referencing those cells right here. You can see that's referencing the other sheet. And so you can uh, copy these. And what you want to do, actually, is copy them over to Google Maps. This is an amazing technology. It wasn't around when I was learning all this stuff years ago. But um, you can just simply enter the uh, latitude and longitude right in Google Maps. And it will take you to that place. So 48.68 comma 9.22 will take me to... Stuttgart, and you can see that the airport is right here. Most of the weather files that we have are from our airport data. So probably uh, the data was actually collected somewhere over here, but there's a rounding error on the latitude and longitude, which got us a few blocks away. For our purposes, this is great, though. We know approximately where the data was collected. Now the question is, where is the case study building? Erbach under Donau. And uh, so here you can see Erbach under Donau there. And Google Maps also has this really nice thing where you can get the distance between spots. So if I right click on the map and, and, and click on measure distance, I can then, it says, click on the map to trace a path you want to measure. So I want to get over to here and I'm going to just align that dot there and this dot here and I can see that it's about 40 miles. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to change these to kilometers, but you can see down here uh, the kilometers are, are listed as well. So um, we not only want to know the distance, but we also want to know how similar the geography is, if there's any major mountain ranges or lakes or oceans in the way. And the easy way to do this is to, I'm going to get rid of my driving directions here so that graphic goes away. And I'm going to click on the terrain function so I can see the um, terrain. And I'm going to zoom way out here so that um, I get a bigger picture. This is most of Europe now. But you can see the major geographic um, things. The, the Alps to the south. This is um, the what is this, Lake the Bodensee here? It's a pretty major body of water. There's the Rhine flowing down here. Uh, so the Rhine Valley has its own effects. Um, and there, there are some smaller hills, it looks like, in here. I'm less familiar with this topography. But um, so there, there might be some small differences, particularly in wind direction. Um, but on the whole, this looks like a, a really nice uh, match with the between the climate data and the uh, building site. So um, please take a screenshot uh, that, that gives a decent overview. I think this kind of uh, shot and for this particular uh, instance is a good one. And uh, I'm going to use the, I'm going to do a screen capture here using the snipping tool and just do a uh, Windows snip and save this as uh, Google Maps terrain distance. And then I can crop this later in InDesign.